Kaylee McHugh started golfing when she was just four years old. Now she's 19 and plays for the University of Ashland women's golf team. But her road to playing at the collegiate level didn't come easy. It had been a dream since I was a little kid and just to, for that even to be a possibility of me not being able to golf anymore is just a huge part of my life. During McHugh's junior year at Northview High School, her back started bothering her. And then one day, her right leg went numb. It was just all that use that I did to my back when I was young. It just put the strain on the vertebrae and it just gave. X-rays showed McHugh had fractured vertebrae and bulged discs. She tried physical therapy, cortisone shots, and other methods. They helped with the pain, but not the numbness, making surgery inevitable. A few short days after her 18th birthday, McHugh had fusion back surgery done. Four pins and two rods now hold her lower back together. I wouldn't have taken my health for granted. Just because, like, little things like tying your shoes or, you know, sitting up out of, to get out of bed. Like, I did, you didn't think about those kind of things, and then all of a sudden being 16 and being, okay, I can't bend down to tie my shoes. While there's no clear reason as to why McHugh had this severe injury at such an early age in life, her chiropractor, Dr. Mickey Frame, says part of the problem is overuse due to sports specialization, a trend he's noticed increasing over the years and not in a good way. I, I will say I am starting to see a few more severe injuries um, in the last few years than I've seen in the past. According to pediatric orthopedic specialist, children who specialize in one sport account for 50% of overuse injuries in young athletes. One study done by a doctor at Loyola University shows athletes who specialized at a young age were 70 to 93% more likely to be injured than those who were multi-sport athletes. The reasoning? A lack of variety in movement and muscle use. If they're doing that in a specialized manner over a long period of time at a young age and they don't use good mechanics, I think we're going to have problems. But why has specialization become something kids are doing in the early ages versus choosing later in life? The desire to be a collegiate athlete. Really wanted to play golf in college. It had been a dream since I was a little kid. There's nothing that shows in the literature that they'll have a better percent chance of being a pro if they specialized early. According to the American Medical Society for Sports Medicine, 88% of college athletes were multi-sport athletes as children. And it's not just the numbers. Coaches say it's something they consider when recruiting. And I think the more well-rounded that a player can be, that a, that a person can be, the better. What parents need to understand is that the the more variety of things you're exposed to, teammates, coaches, experiences, sports, the more prepared you are for college because you never know what that coach or that experience is going to be like. What used to be a schedule that allowed athletes to miss their sport in the off season while working other muscle groups in another sport, specialization could take that away. And while some specialized athletes say they would do it all over again, for McHugh, she says the opposite. I do, looking back, wish that I would have done more, I guess, just so this wouldn't have happened. Reporting for WTOL 11, I'm Danielle DeWire.